Shalom everybody, Rabbi E here with an edition of Rabbi E in 3, an episode I should say, that's being filmed live over Facebook because it's exciting. And uh, you can listen on audio, you can watch on video, or you can tune out. Whatever it is, it's all good. I'm outside. I have to be outside. I could not record this or film this in a studio, some pristine sound chamber. No, no, no. I'm outside. I'll explain why. That's not a fake background. Those are trees in the background. It's beautiful. In my, uh, on the deck of my Silver Spring house, it's because we're about 25 hours away from a holiday that and, and allows us to relive something that happened outside, not inside in some sound studio. Although, for sure, this holiday I'm talking about, the most unknown probably Jewish holiday in the calendar of us Jewish people, it's a holiday that's, that is above all time and all space and all location, and it's a holiday that really reminds us of the purpose of all of existence and of our lives. Shavuos. Shavuos. That's right. Zman Matan Torah Tenu, the time of the giving of our Torah. Everyone knows Pesach. Uh, 48 days or so ago, we celebrated Pesach. God liberated us, but he brought us directly to Mount Sinai. Now, Mount Sinai was in a wilderness, and this is kind of green over here, like Montgomery County, Maryland, greenery. However, we're taught in the oral tradition that Mount Sinai in the Sinai wilderness was, had grass and greenery growing around it, which is why some people have the custom of bringing greenery into their synagogues on Shavuos. But in any case, God brought us from Egypt to Mount Sinai in the Sinai wilderness to reveal his will to mankind and to give the special, beautiful gift of Torah to the Jewish people. Nothing more or nothing less, <laughs> but that's a lot. Our rabbis tell us that the whole purpose of the creation of heaven and earth, and of course of our lives, was for the Torah. Because the Torah is God's wisdom, is the map of Hashem's mind, so to speak, to elevate this world and connect everything in this physical world, including us, to Him, to its source. Shavuos is reliving, getting our purpose as a people, and reliving the moment when all of the creation of heaven and earth became meaningful. Indeed, our rabbis say that God made a condition with all the elements of creation that it would only be finalized, it would only be, you know, really set to go and, and, and endure if the Jewish people would accept the Torah at Mount Sinai. Shavuos is us reliving the accepting of the Torah at Mount Sinai. The Torah being a book of instructions for our lives to, educate, to e elevate each one of us individually and all of creation at large. Shavuos, incredible holiday. I didn't know about growing up, but it's such a beautiful holiday. It's two days in the diaspora, tomorrow night, Thursday night through Saturday night, one day in the land of Israel. One of the reasons it's not known, I think, is because there's no one marquee observance or mitzvah that... That, that, that is featured, right? Pesach has the Seder and the Matzah. Sukkot has a hut you live in in the backyard and you shake some funny species. Shavuos can't have such a prop because it's the celebration of receiving the whole Torah, which is the context of everything and the foundation and the meaning of everything. It's the most all-inclusive holiday in that sense, right? We keep Pesach and we keep Rosh Hashanah because we got the Torah at Mount Sinai. Now, I want to quickly say in our short time together uh, that at we're re-experiencing on Shavuos the mass revelation that God brought about. Every Jewish person who had left Egypt, more than two million people, men, women, and children, heard God speak, at least the first two of the Ten Commandments. And then after that public awesome revelation, Moshe went up to the top of Mount Sinai to receive the rest of the wisdom and the commandments of the Torah. But quickly... It's a holiday, not just reliving, you know, the commandments, as important as they are. They're the blueprint of, our, of the world and the purpose of our lives to carry out these beautiful mitzvot and commandments. But we also saw and experienced things at Mount Sinai, and Shavuot is supposed to help us eh, not relive, I guess, but try to reconnect to what we saw and we experienced. What did we experience? Moshe Rabbeinu, in the book of Deuteronomy, relives the history of the Jewish people with them and tells them, reminds them, you were shown to know at the assembly at Mount Sinai, 
you were shown Jewish people to know that Hashem is the only true being in reality in the heavens above and on the earth below. And our rabbis explained whatever it was, there was a the most elevated prophetic experience that every Jewish person at Mount Sinai knew that everything in this world, every cell in our bodies and every element and every creature is sourced in the, rea- and it, the life source comes from Hashem. He is Yechidi, he's the only one in the universe giving life, the only power, the only God, one God. We were shown that, we knew that with a clarity like we never ever experienced before. And we received the Torah, that is the blueprint to live our lives and to elevate the world. It's a holiday of reconnecting and re-engaging with Torah, each one of us, every one of us, the Jewish people, and all mankind has a connection to the Torah. But the Jewish people, of course, are the stewards of this gift, this holy gift of the Torah, um, that's meant to bring its light and elevation to the whole world. But every one of the Jewish people has a special connection to the Torah. And on Shavuos, we can open ourselves up to that and reconnect to it. Think about it. Think about the commandments and the ethics and the values of Judaism and, you know, be re-inspired then each year. The word Sinai, Sinai, like the Mount Sinai, has the same numerical value as the word Sulam, ladder. And the rabbis explain because at Sinai we were given the Torah, which is a ladder that connects us from the, from the earthly world we inhabit to the highest realms of the spiritual source from which we came. That's what Torah is. It's a ladder Let's climb on the ladder again together on Shavuos. Now, we'll finish with cheesecake, okay? Because no Jewish custom is silly. And there is an idea of eating dairy foods on Shavuos. Many reasons given for it. The word chalav, milk, has the numerical value of 40. And there were 40 days and nights that Moshe spent on Mount Sinai receiving the Torah. But I think even more beautifully than that, though that's beautiful, milk is the quintessential nutrition and nourishment for a young child. It's, it's the expression of the mother's love for the child and nurturing of the child. Torah and its wisdom is that for us, for our souls. It nourishes us, it, it elevates us, and it's a sign of Hashem's love that he gave the Torah to the Jewish people. Wishing you an amazing Shavuos. Have some cheesecake, drink some wine for Kiddush on Yom Tov. Stay up late studying Torah, which is a custom on the first night of Shavuos, especially. But it's, but moreover, just stop and think, Torah, what is it? What can it be? Investigate it. Read chapter 29, sorry, 19 and 20 of the book of Exodus to refresh your memory of the actual assembly at Mount Sinai and what happened. Think about the Ten Commandments, which was the introduction to the rest of the Torah for the Jewish people. And the rabbis say that all 613 commandments, all of which elevate us and the world, are rooted in the Ten foundational commandments that are the Ten Commandments. Check it out. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, and it was fun being outside here. You know, let's, um, let's think back to the wilderness in front of Mount Sinai, not a grandiose mountain, a humble mountain. Humble ourselves to receive a wisdom that's from a, another source. And maybe we can even, they say there were great rabbis not too long ago who were on such a spiritual level on the night of Shavuos that they could hear the sounds of the assembly at Mount Sinai, a shofar blowing very loud, and they could hear God speak, as it were. May we all be elevated to that level with the help of the wine and the cheesecake and, uh, and whatever own meditations in our heart we can enjoy and, uh, and investigate. So together and individually, have a wonderful, wonderful Shavuos. Chag Sameach.